Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV, where we're coming to you today live from DCD Connect here in London. And I am joined by Matthew Farnell, who's the Global, Global Director at Ecosense. Hey, good morning. Yeah, it's How are you doing? so great to have you here. Uh, Thank you. Like I said, we're sort of kicking off the day one, actually, of DCD Connect here in London. How, what are you looking forward to most about the show this week? Oh wow! Yeah, DC, it comes round so quickly every year. Normally, mm. it's a little bit later in the year, but it's it's mm. uh, it's happening a little bit early this year. I believe there are three thousand six hundred attendees. Oh this wow! Year, so I think it's the oh, biggest DC You heard it here ever. first. Three thousand six hundred. I hadn't heard that number <laughs> this yet this is morning. My, this is my twenty fourth DCD. I is think. Is that right? So I've been coming here a while. Is that right? Wow. But uh, yes, this is by far the biggest. So looking forward to meeting our existing customers. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of new folks, I guess, here in the industry today yeah. as well. Yeah. Should fantastic. Be good it's a great venue, actually. It's I think it is yeah, fantastic. I've never been with, <laughs> is that right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's nice. It's uh, you kind of have a great uh, vantage point of who all is here and everything. Absolutely. So, well, let's get right into it. Let's uh, give our our guests an opportunity to hear a little bit uh, about EcoSense, if you yeah, wouldn't mind. Yeah, sure. So we are at heart, we're a software company, um, an AI-based cloud software company. Uh, we provide a solution, EcoSoft, uh, which we've been providing to data center operators now for over eleven years. I'm glad to say uh, we're UK-based business, but cover the globe. So we'll talk a little bit more about our, our team in the US and yeah. team in Asia Pacific, but yeah. fundamentally we're thermal optimization experts. So okay. EchoSoft helps customers optimize their data centers. Oh. We do lots around capacity planning, ESG reporting, and generally improving visibility for data center operators. Yeah. Perfect solution for what the industry needs right now, it Especially seems to me. Especially in the context of okay. these increasing loads that everyone's talking about 100%. with AI, all the stuff that's happening. Yeah. And we're going to talk more about that. First, let's talk about the, I know that your team, um, some members of your team are part of a panel tomorrow. The panel is called, I want to get this right, Data Center Resilience and Operations in the Age of AI. So can you tell us a little bit about who from your team is representing on that panel? What will they be talking about? Yeah, sure. So I'm glad to say our CTIO is here, Dr. Stu Redshaw. Amazing, yeah. uh, Stu was one of the founders of EchoSense uh, way back when. He's an emeritus professor from Nottingham University. PhD professor, very, very smart human guy. Yeah. Um, uh, so it's basically Echo Soft is his brainchild initially. Okay. So he's grown up with the business. Um, he's going to be talking about the advent of AI and all the high density loads that we're seeing in the data center today. Yeah. So this evolution from you know medium low densities that we've seen over the years, three to five kilowatts per rack, which is air cooled, going up mm -hmm. to people are talking about 150 kilowatts a rack now, yeah. which is just Amazing. an intense amount of energy to manage. Right. And so speaking of AI and, and sort of, as you said, the just how are we managing that from, um, you know, just in terms of you know, so many things, but I, I mean, one of the solutions that Ecosense offers is uh, this leading the shift toward liquid and hybrid cooling. Can you talk about that and how that's a benefit in, in the context of AI? Yeah, sure. So those, those traditional workloads that we talked about, you know, that kind of three to five kilowatts of rack range, the way we've yeah. traditionally dealt with heat management industry is through air cooling, obviously, for many years. Yeah. And most data centers are still designed and built that way. But when we get beyond 10 kilowatts of rack, 20 kilowatts of rack, 100 kilowatts of rack, you know, cooling that with air alone, removing that amount of heat is going to be super challenging. Yeah. So obviously we need liquids, have better coefficient properties to do that. So we're going to, we're obviously going to have different topologies of cooling in the data center. Uh, where we add value around that is still our monitoring piece and then optimization as well. Uh, heat transfer, the rules of physics don't change, even with AI. So EchoSoft will help operators still have visibility over these hybrid environments, particularly liquid cooling, and we can help optimize as well. So managing the capacity of these high density sites, planning where we're going to put these loads and also still removing the heat safely as well to maintain SLAs. And this is obviously something that's in demand. It's needed desperately by the industry, I think, right now. And I mean, I think that the, the growth of EcoSense speaks to that a little bit. And maybe we can, we can start there. You mentioned 11 years you've had this solution and started in the UK, but your footprint is really global now. So tell us a little bit about that, the global footprint and what that, that um, path has looked like for yeah, you. Yeah, sure. It's exciting, actually. So yeah. if I think about the Americas to start off with, so we have a new leader there, Steve Lewis, is our VP of sales for the Americas. Yeah. He's based in North America, but covering uh, both continents, I guess you could say. Uh, Steve joined us at the start of this year, and he's growing his team, got a lot more customer engagement as a result. So that's a, a really exciting evolution for us. Yeah. And then in January this year, we launched our business in APAC. So we have Robert Linsdale, who used to run Vertif in Australia. He's leading our business there. He's based in Australia. Yeah. 
Uh, we've recently done events in places like Singapore as well, which are obviously really important markets. Lots of growth happening in countries like Indonesia yeah. and Malaysia today. So yeah, we're we're slowly growing into these markets, or very rapidly growing into these markets actually as the yeah. industry evolves. Yeah, amazing. And so I'm going to leave you with a really easy question. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> it's going so well. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then I threw this at you. But in your opinion, what will AI's role be in the future of digital infrastructure? Yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting. I don't think this is a bubble. I don't think this is like the, the dot-com boom or anything like yeah. that we've seen before. You know, companies like NVIDIA have been growing massively. The amount of infrastructure that they're deploying, that our customers are talking about today. Um, if we think about the applications that we use in our lives, I, you know, AI is everywhere now, isn't it? And I don't think that's going away anytime soon. Um, NVIDIA and others talk about the competitive advantage that AI brings. And I, I think if you're not on that journey as a company using AI, then you're going to get left behind by your competitors. So yeah. I think the technology is here to, here to stay. It's only going to get stronger. This is the, the generative models, the large language models. It's just the first round, isn't it, really? Right. So yeah. not going anywhere anytime soon. And if we look at the growth in the global data center market, you know, the amount of power, land, the people that are going to be required to run this infrastructure, you know, it's, I think it's a really interesting time in this industry and we're, we're, we're going to see um, lots of growth for years to come. Yeah. Thank you. And it's amazing to to talk to, to you and to continue to talk to the team at Ecosense and hear the solutions that you're coming up with to to help usher in that that growth, as you said, that's not going away, right? And and so it's we we need to be there to to steward it along. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Really appreciate the time. Yeah, today. thank you for, for joining us. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in today to JSA TV, where we continue to come to you live from DCD Connect here in London throughout the day. Until then. See you next time.